One MIT paper gave students a series of essay writing tasks. Some of them carried them out with the assistance of AI and some of them carried them out freehand, old school. What was clear is that the people who had used AI to write their first tasks not only wrote subpar essays, but the parts of their brains that were supposed to light up when they were writing these essays and did light up in the people who had written several unassisted didn't fire as strongly. They were, in a very real sense, out of practice of essay writing. And you said there are a number of studies. What do the other ones show? One of the other interesting studies that came out in the last month was from METR, an AI research group, that looked at how much AI coding assistance sped up developer productivity. And the developers they asked were all very experienced users of AI, right? These were not people who were being onboarded to it for the first time. They assumed it would give them a roughly 20% speed up in their ability. After they carried out the task, they assumed it had given them a 20% speed up in their ability. In fact, it slowed them down by somewhere between 10 and 40%. Using AI felt like a real improvement, a real speed up. In actual fact, they were spending so much time tinkering with the AI assistant, correcting its mistakes, trying to work out the best way to prompt it, that they spent more time doing the task than they would have unaided. So is that it, Alex? Are we just never going to think critically again? The history of humanity has always been that as we develop a technology that lets us stop having to do a mental task, we we generally do atrophy at that task, but we also culturally come to reassess what we think of as sort of core to human creativity, knowledge, intelligence. The question is with AI whether or not it's such a fully fledged cognitive enhancement that it starts to be more of a cognitive replacement. Do people who are using AI assistance to help them with a task use it to help them with a task or does it just do the task entirely and if it's the latter what is actually left of the human intellect to flourish in the you know gaps created by that AI help. Getting very philosophical here Alex what's your view you spend all your time thinking about AI where do we end up? My current view is that this is a genuine problem for the future but that in the present, it sort of overstates the ability of AI technology to be worried about this. Fundamentally, if you hand over these sorts of all-encompassing tasks, like, say, writing an academic essay to an AI, one of the important outcomes is that task is done poorly. The AI isn't very good at it. You're going to produce slop. We're not yet at the position where it's a cognitive replacement. We simply aren't. But thinking about what it would look like if we got there might prepare us for the very different world that could be coming. 